Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is We Are Genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around Raspberry Pi. We will see how to interface 16 cross 2 LCD module using I2C. To enable interfacing the LCD module with I2C, we are going to use MCP23017 16 bit port expander IC. Interfacing 16 cross 2 LCD directly with Raspberry Pi requires almost 60 PIO, which actually I have shown in my previous tutorial. That is interfacing 16 cross 2 LCD with Raspberry Pi using Java. And this can cause trouble if your project is more GPIO intensive and your Pi is running in headless mode and you are interested in showing some messages to the user over a 16 cross 2 display. So instead of that, if you uh, are using I2C interface and MCP23017, we will be using only two pins out of Raspberry Pi. Uh, and this again provides us with some additional GPIOs to use. So in this tutorial, we'll be using Pi4j with Java as usual. So being said that, let's get started guys. Uh, so guys, over here is the circuit diagram to connect the 16 cross 2 LCD with MCP23017, which again connects to the 40 pin GPIO header of the Raspberry Pi. So over here you can see I have uh, like marked plus 5 volt plus 3.3 volt ground out of the 40 pin GPIO header of Pi along with HDN and SCL line which are directly connected to HDN and SCL line of MCP23017. So I am not going in details with the MCP23017 connection with Raspberry Pi because for this you can check out my earlier tutorial on this. For which I have given the link down below in the description. So let's see how to connect the 16 cross 2 LCD to the MCP23017 module. And for this LCD module only, I have uh, like taken out the plus 5 volt out of the GPIO header, which goes directly to the VDD pin of 16 cross 2 LCD. And the ground is connected to VSS, V0, and RW pin of the LCD because the VSS is the ground pin. The V0 is the contrast pin and as we are working on full contrast which we are connecting it to ground but if you are like interested in varying the contrast of the LCD you can suddenly put an potentiometer over here in between plus 5 volt and ground and connect the middle or output pin to the V0 or that is VE on the LCD written right. Then as we are always writing onto the LCD we have connected RW pin to ground but we can suddenly change it. Uh, if you are interested in reading from the 16 cross 2 LCD, which is nothing but you can read the busy flag out of the LCD. And the RS and enable pin are connected to the port B, 0 and 1 pin of the MCP23017 module respectively. Then as we are operating the 16 cross 2 LCD in 4 bit mode, we have connected the D4, D5, D6, D7 pin of 16 cross 2 LCD to 4 GPIOs of port B of MCP23017 directly and we have left the LED plus and minus pin of the 16 cross 2 LCD but if you want to enable the backlit certainly you can connect with any GPIO of MCP23017 or if you want to be it always on you can connect it to the power lines. So let's connect the 16 cross 2 LCD with MCP23017 and Pi and we'll get back to coding and we'll see how it works. So guys, I have made all the connection and as you can see it's a bit messy over here. Uh, but if you are going to work with a PCB and soldered the LCD and MCP2317 it, uh, onto that PCB it will look much more cleaner and as you can see over here we have used only three wires from the Pi to display or to communicate with the 16 cross 2 LCD and that is using the I2C interface. So let's get back to the PC and we'll work around our application which will be used to display messages on the 16 cross 2 LCD over here. Uh, so guys let's open up Eclipse and over here let's create a new project uh, that is MCP2317 LCD okay uh, then click on finish 
and again if you are new to like java application development or pi 4j with raspberry pi you can check out my all your tutorials on this uh, for which actually i have given the links down below in the description uh, so let's create a class over here uh, let's say main let's say main uh, just click on finish now uh, let's copy the code from my github repository it by this just paste the code over here just need to I'll just rename the class name and it is showing error because I have not added the pipe 4j library onto the build path to do that get into the configure build path option then click on add external jar browse to your pipe 4 j jar files and add those files onto the build path by hitting the open button click on ok yep you should see those red underlines has been removed so uh, let's go through the code but before discussing as i said earlier this uh, particular lcd interfacing over here with raspberry pi is run by using mcp23017 i see and uh, there is the 16-bit port expander so if you have not checked my earlier tutorial on this like how to interface MT mcp23017 with raspberry pi you should check out my earlier tutorial because over here i am not going into depth of the i2c communication between mcp23017 and raspberry pi and all those i'll just have a brief uh, like description of this code and how it works uh, so make sure to check out the earlier tutorial so by setting that let's check out the code and how it works so over here these are couple of uh, like uh, variables then that is like rs flag and enable flag for rs and enable uh, pins okay then i2c device is the object that holds the i2c device or the device you want to interact with for our case it is mcp2317 then lcd line address this array holds the addresses of the two lines or uh, the two rows of the 16 plus 2 lcd then lcd chr lcd cmd uh, those holds true and false and they determines as we are sending data or we are sending a command to the lcd then over here i have defined different pins those are connected to mcp23017 of the lcd so uh, if you have connected uh, like in different arrangement make sure to change the pin numbers over here like uh, for port a zero number pin the value goes to zero similarly for port b zero number pin the pin number goes to zero and it continues to up to seven okay then coming on to the main function over here i have just made a statement that prints out starting of the mcp2317 onto the terminal when it is executed then an i2c bus takes the like i2c bus interface and by using this bus we can interact with the i2c interface of the raspberry pi then dev bus get device 0 cross 20 returns us the mcp23017 handle to us and by using this dev object we can read and write onto the mcp23017 then dev dot write 0 cross 01 byte 00 makes the port b of the mcp23017 as output and 0 cross 01 uh, like indicates or uh, it corresponds to the data direction register of port b so while setting 00, 0 it makes as output and over here as we are interfacing lcd we don't need any input pins of port b then again if we have used uh, like port a for this you can change it to 0 cross 00, 0. then i2c lcd display over here we have created a object of the same class then lcd dot init uh, this is a routine that is called and uh, I have defined over here and this actually sends different commands to initialize the section cross to LCD and over here as we are using the 4 bit mode uh, these commands are for the 4 bit mode and again you can change uh, different commands over here except the 4 bit mode command to set different attributes like you can make the cursor blink you can uh, like hide the cursor uh, you can uh, like uh, stabilize uh, like unblink you can like uh, enable the display 
you can uh, like uh, set the cursor home and all those commands are there and you can initialize like that so and then apart from this init routine over here there are different other routines that help us to uh, like interact with the lcd by using the mcp2317 so i am not going into details on all other functions uh, you can check out yourself i have pretty much commented everything which function does what then over here coming into the main function then you can see lcd dot lcd byte and over here i have mentioned lcd command this does 0 cross 0 1 is a command that we are sending and this stands for lcd clear then lcd 0 cross 0 2 stands for lcd home that means it will set the cursor position to the first location of the lcd that is 0th row 0th column then lcd dot write takes us a string uh, text a string and it prints out onto the LCD. Then by using LCD set cursor position, you can set change the position of the cursor. And as you change the position of the cursor, the next string you are sending will be printed from that location. And over here is a while true statement that executes forever and it prints out different strings onto the LCD. So let's compile the code and we'll create the executable jar file and we'll and clear and we'll create the executable jar file and we'll send it to the pi and we'll run it there uh, again if you are new to java and pi 4j you should check out my earlier tutorial how to do this so let's select this one click on finish yes yes Now let's open up WinSCP or if you are using any other FTP tools, you can certainly go ahead with that. And over here, we'll transfer our created executable jar files to the pipe. Then select these two files over here click on upload and let's open up putty over here to run the particular jar file and you can see it is printing out starting of the mcp23017 based assistant cross 2 lcd example so this application has started running and let's check out on the lcd if it is printing out different statements as we have uh, like programmed in our application so guys that's all for today thank you thanks for watching and hope you have liked this video and if so please hit the thumbs up button and definitely you can subscribe to my channel for latest updates so see you next time with my new video till then goodbye